This video is brought to you by the Comic Tom Mystery Mail Call. Join the community, give Comic Tom an excuse to send you comics at random. You will also receive one per box, a Gambit One, the new Chris Claremont book with the Peach Momoko variant. You'll get either a trade dress or a virgin, but that's not all. Every box will also include an issue of Flavor Girls Issue One, the Sailor Moon homage, and the new Isolation book by Reggie Collects and Doug Branton. This is the Nate Made It Tomb of Dracula Issue One homage. Hit ComicTime101.com and join the mystery mail call. What's going on everybody? Jem Mint here back with another statue unboxing and review. This time we have the new Galactus maquette by Sideshow designed and sculpted by the Chutrig brothers. And what a huge box. Digging the art on this, you got Galactus on the front, all the cosmic energy swirling around him. Now, when this was first announced and we got the dimensions, I and many other collectors were a little underwhelmed. We wanted that big, massive size that the OG maquette had, so much so that I went back and purchased that piece again. Now, that one had some issues, so I decided to return it and said, you know what, let's get the new piece in. Let's review this one and see what it's like. So. That's what we're gonna do today. Let's jump into this unboxing. All right, guys, here we go. One box, one layer. Let's remove the lid. Not that many pieces here. We have Galactus with the base, his head, and his two hands. Plus, there is a power adapter, so let's take a look at the base. This is number 110 out of 2,000 for the maquette. No exclusive. Beautiful decal on the bottom. Love that Galactus look. And then we have the base, this destroyed city that looks like it's engulfed in flame and molten lava. You have the buildings here that you can see protruding out the sides. Let's get a closer look there so you get some scale perspective. Then on to the right hand, so you have that Galactus blue and purple, those tones of silver going throughout, and then his hand engulfed in flame. You see the muscle definition there on that metallic blue. And then we have the left hand, same thing. So you have light up features in the palm, on the flame. Again, that same great paint job on there, and I like how the flame is coming off of the fingers. It looks great. Great sculpt on that. And then onto the body. Wow, the sculpt is crazy on this. So intricate, so much detail into the body, and I do see the pronounced difference between the purple and the blue. I was concerned with that based on pictures. You can see the purple boots here. Again, a lot of nice sculpted in detail the same metallic blues and purples that we've seen in the hands. The back has so much detail sculpted in as well. Look at the spine there, the back. And then of course you have that portrait. So it's Galactus all right, man. A lot of intricacy sculpted in everywhere. I know I'm using that word a lot, but how else do you define how much is going on in the sculpt? You can see his face, you can see the eyes, which will light up. The back of the head, more detail sculpted in. Just one solid piece. Let's take a look at the top here as well. Two Trick Brothers didn't miss a beat when it came to the sculpt on this. And then, like I said, it does come with a power adapter, super long cord. Let's get the base on the table here. The left foot has the connection, so you want to make sure you're careful with keying that in. So there we go, Galactus keyed in. Moving on up, let's put his right hand in there. Also has an electronic connector. Same with the left hand here. And then lastly, the portrait. So we'll get that put on there. He's kind of looking upward, but let's test out this light up feature and we'll start with the base. So lights off, let's press the button. Man, that's crazy. That adds so much to this piece. It literally looks like everything is burning. It's on fire. It's molten lava. Then moving up to his hands, like I said, that kind of repulsor palm is lit up. The flame is lit up behind it on both hands very bright light you can see the chest light up and of course like i said the eyes on the portrait light up as well it already has paint that makes it look like it's glowing and then the light just accentuates that and there we have it the new galactus maquette by sideshow sculpted and designed by the tutorik brothers this piece retails 855 dollars no exclusive the height is just shy of 27 inches tall the width on the base is about 13 inches, but with the hands, it's more of about 16 inches. And then you have the depth at about 13 inches. Now, I know a lot of collectors, like myself, were disappointed with the height. We wanted it to be at least the size of the OG maquette, or bigger, perhaps. But this is what Sideshow and the Two Trick Brothers decided to do. 
Like others have stated, I do think the light up feature really saves this piece. It kind of could be a little dull without, but with how bright the light up is on the base, plus the hands, the chest, and the eyes, I kind of think it makes up for it. And I know a lot of you guys want to see it paired up with Silver Surfer. I have it boxed up in the spare room. I don't even know where it is. But honestly, I don't think it's really meant to companion with that quarter scale piece. This is a non-scale. You know, if it was bigger, it would pair better. But, you know, let's face it, Galactus is huge and Silver Surfer should fit in the palm of his hand. So I don't think it's really a good companion piece. But as a standalone piece, it is impressive, man. And same with uh, the Jean Grey Phoenix mechette coming out that we saw it at San Diego Comic-Con. It doesn't really appear to be quarter scale, maybe more one-fifth, but it's their non-scale. So they can do more with the statue and not really be confined to a scale. With that being said, it's got a pretty big presence as far as the base is concerned. I love the destroyed city. I love how the light-up feature makes it look like everything is melting. That looks amazing. And you have Galactus standing above it. I was concerned, like I mentioned in the unboxing, about the paint. He looked all blue from the initial pictures, and I even did a reaction video to it. In person, you can easily tell the difference between the purple and the blues. You have the silver lining throughout. And like I said, the intricacies of the sculpt. Two Trick Brothers put a lot of man hours. You can see sculpting all these details into his costume. I like how he's got the flames in his hand. It adds a nice contrast and matching with the base. Then you got his portrait looking up. He looks godlike. He looks like he's absorbing the life essence of this planet. And overall, I am impressed with the piece. Let's go ahead and turn off that light function. Give him a quick spin, 360 degrees. Got to tell you, in person, he isn't small. You would have to literally put this up next to the OG maquette to really see that difference. And I'm glad I gave this new maquette a shot because it looks great. Let me know what you guys think about the Galactus maquette in the comments down below. Appreciate you watching. I'm going to leave you with Galactus spinning on the turntable. Stay minty fresh. Peace.